So there are conditions where they favor innovation. And two economists way back in the day, they speak about this particular topic. Uh, the first person being Joseph Schumpeter, I come up with five ways where uh, it be like conditions where they favor innovation. So Schumpeter in first point was like, if there's a new good, it, it, it generates or creates an enabling environment for innovation. So let's say a new good be like the time touch screen phones come. As touch screen phones come, it make it creates repairs. People where they have no idea about how to even repair phone or they don't even go to school. Matter of fact, I don't even know if there are schools where for Ghana they, they go where they, they take people they take land to repair phones. They be try and error, right? But as phones they come, there was a need for such people. Okay. As phones they come, there was a need for people to sell accessories. You understand? So the new good phones come, internet come, they bring with it so many different things. The next point which Schumpeter talked was the introduction of a new method of application. Okay, Tr introduction of a new method of application. So let's say kiddies where really, they give them medicine. Those time they put medicine for the spoon top, right? Then you will give them for their mouth. Now you put the medicine for the kiddie mouth. You know they drink the, the medicine because if you be bitter, you no go drink them. You no go swallow them. Sorry. So now they come up with some uh, some machine, some small device where they take fetch the medicine go open the kidney mouth then go put for your throat <laughs> the medicine enter you understand by the time you go realize they swallow them so that be a new method of application of medicine right it be an innovative way so the next one be opening of a new market okay so the time where this cutter they can't play the world cup for there people fly go there go find work that be like a new market of something so we'll go make money for there some to yeah follow them but at least people make money for there so when there's a new market they bring new opportunities for example for my hood here for c5 there's a five market imagine say the five market they can't redo them way they give everybody in shop back and they improve on them you can see say things go change they do their parking space nice now they go to collect good money for parking space so like when such things happen it they bring with it innovation another one be say when there's the discovery of a new supply of raw materials or partially finished product okay so if let's say there's we import leather from europe now we realize say ethiopia they get more leather so we would like import leather from ethiopia you know and as we realize i'm not you know it bring new opportunities and because of that it make our leather industry or the footwear making industry for ghana the boom because we have a new source of raw materials and it be affordable so when that happens it make you know innovation they come it make people they start they think to one come up with ideas where they solve problems the next point we see if there's a new form of organization right like an organizational structure like uh, those a day in web3 uh, what do they call decentralized autonomous organizations right like an organization way that be governed by computer code make a pretty so right like smart contracts it's a new form of, of organization and it, it come with it in own you know terms and conditions or you know wheels and bells you know so yeah when that happens it, it creates some new form of innovation okay the next economist i want to talk about them way he mentioned certain uh, certain conditions where they favor innovation they call him peter Drucker. okay he talks a uh, when something unexpected happens, it make people they come up with innovative ideas. For example, COVID-19. COVID come with everybody there on lockdown. People start think. Like I tell you in one of the videos, people start think they come up with products where they solve problems, whether it be sewing, nose masks, or uh, some school. So I forgot the school in name. But this these people they do this uh, what ventilator or what be the name? That thing where people where they need if you breathe, they do. They, they make they, they use for them they, they take put their nose made a few breathe people where they get COVID so say they don't go die they start make some so with so one professor nice professor like that uh, yeah it was really cool and it was unexpected COVID was unexpected at least for we some people they, they knew right but be unexpected people start do so many things where they to prevent and stifle the spread of the disease so on such an unexpected occurrence people they um, use that opportunity to innovate people they make money out of them you you already know people make money from this thing people <laughs> rob you the whole country you know so what they have what do they call incongruities incongruities be more of like um 
two things where you know they meet it be incongruent you know they meet so, so like two markets where they know they meet or this person and that person know they talk to this person right when that happens it bring an enabling environment to find alternative ways of doing things okay for example some milk day you know good for africans right it be they call them africans would be lactose intolerant to milk and some kind of dairy products so when it makes so even though we still need protein somebody go you come up with maybe soya bean milk or something right things like that he also mentioned process needs when there's changes in industry structure demographics like when you realize that there are more young people than old people it be an a way to come up with innovative ideas 2020 uh one of the um, articles i read the toxic by 20 22 or 2023 there will be seven times more smartphones in the world it means they will have about 50 billion smartphones where it be it be, it be used by human beings around the world what that means be say people go do a lot of transactions on their phones what does it mean it means say then innovative ideas go become as to running ads selling online products and so many things bookings online bookings and things like that now people go feel come up with new uh, uh apps games and things because a lot of people are on their phones you understand you say changes in perception changes in perception people they buy certain devices because of changes in perception okay people know they buy vw cars because they feel say the cars be problem cars but in actual fact they don't get money, <laughs> they don't get money. yeah and you know it be where you fix your car to be the thing for check to chill but yeah like those are some of the things perception be everything people when there's a particular perception it will make people they generate certain kinds of ideas will be innovative when there's new knowledge people they come up with ideas or generate ideas like i have the knowledge of how to create an nft i have the knowledge of how to design sneaker using a 3d software well if you do i make it look like it be the real thing right i have the knowledge to create 3d worlds or, or environments where you go fit take create your game we will play the game for such environments like all those things i go feed them and so because it be new knowledge it be and if you come up with innovative ideas right 